Hello and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku puzzle for Friday the 12th of March. It's afternoon where I am now. I've already had nice green curry, Thai curry for lunch uh, as I've been out to work. And uh, so I'm checking the afternoon news and the latest news is that Joe Biden has ordered all states to have all citizens eligible for vaccination by May the 1st. I'm not really sure. That's rather curious wording to have them eligible. Eligible is not the same as having them vaccinated, right? Or even, you know, Q, I'm not really sure what that means. But anyway, good luck to him and uh, his push for getting as many adults and or people, I should say, uh, vaccinated as possible. Right. Uh, not much time to waste today. Uh, we've got hard level puzzle Sudoku, apparently. Uh, it's just hot off my printer. Excuse the huge truck going past. Um, let me see what I can see. Um, okay, it's eyes down. <clears throat> I'm not sure if having a curry is a good idea before playing Sudoku or not. It either uh, is going to make me sweat a lot or is going to keep me awake and more alive. I have really no idea. Um, so the first thing I notice is a, is a slightly obscure find, not very obscure, but slightly obscure, uh, find here as being a 6, because we have this 6 blocking this these two squares here, right? Okay, our normal scanning techniques, 6 blocking this row, meaning 6 has to appear, in fact there's a blocking 6 here, 6 is going to be here or here, so if we bring that across, we block this enti entire top row, including these two squares. So blocking here, blocking here. First find of the day is a six. Today's lesson is given as a hard level puzzle. Um, if you have not played Sudoku before, maybe you should try an easy one first and just learn the rules uh, and then come back to this video. Um, it's Yesterday's was um, quite tricky, actually. Uh, hard level puzzle yesterday took a lot of work. It wasn't expert level. But it took a lot of hard work, and today's might be the same. I see a 6 across this bottom row, 6 across this row, and a 6 down here, leaving only that square available to fit a 6. Um, what else am I looking for? I see uh, a 2 down here. Again, slightly obscure, but notice that we don't yet have a 2 in this uh, in this row, but 2 blocks this square here. So 2 is going to appear somewhere in here, right? So this 2 blocks the top row here. Oh, actually, you didn't even need that one. <laughs> it was not even necessary. 2 blocks this top row, 2 blocks this row. Of course, it wasn't obscure at all. It was actually quite blatant. Just that um, I'm not really focused yet, maybe. Uh, 2 in this column all the way down, 2 in this column down. Let's have that square there to fit a 2. Uh, bring this two across this column, that uh, row, sorry, and two down this column here, leaving that square there for a two, and let's just take it up, so down this column, up this column, across rows, like, like this, so that's a two there also. Um, all right, uh, this one here's got to be a nine, has, no, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, reason again, look, this 9 blocks this square, so 9 is coming back here and blocking along this bottom row, right? It has to be somewhere along this bottom row because it can't come in this square here. So blocking across, blocking across, and this 9 blocking down, meaning that has to be a 9 there. Uh, 7 up this column, 7 down this column, and 7 across this row. This is the same technique over and over again. I'm basically just looking along rows and columns uh, for any numbers that fit easily across this seven across this row seven across this row leaving just that square there for a seven okay Uh, one down here, same thing as I've been doing already, one across this row, meaning a one is blocking this square, so there's got to be a one somewhere here, 
So blocking across, blocking across. There's a one in this column blocking here, and so one's got to appear there. Uh, when we take it up, we'll see that that's a one there. And guess what? When one blocks this entire row, that has to be a one there. Same thing. This is basically the same pattern over and over again. I, I'm, I'm spotting here. Look, four. There has to be a four here, right? We don't have a four in this segment yet, so four's got to be here. Scanning across, blocking across. This four blocks across, and this four in this column means that there's only one place where a four can go. Uh, the missing numbers here are 8 and 9 in this row. 8 and 9 are the missing numbers, but guess what? 9 intersects here, so it can't be there. So 9 has got to be in that square there, and 8 has to be in that square there. Uh, 9 in this column now, 9 in this column now, and 9 in this row means that's the next square we can fill in because only a 9, uh, a nine can sorry, only go in that location there. Um, can we find this? What's missing here? Uh, 4, 6, and 8. 4, 6, and 8. Okay, this has to be, an, the, the, one of the missing numbers here is 8, 4, 6, and 8 are missing, so 8 is going to block this square here, leaving us just in that location for an 8, and the last missing number from that segment is a 3, so we can fill that in now. Um, just making sure I haven't made any mistakes yet. When I say yet, yeah, that doesn't mean I'm going to later, but just um, hopefully not. Um. Probably going to start filling in some um, easy candidates uh, now because it looks like uh, the right time to be doing that kind of thing. So, in particular, I've, I want to put down this eight down here. Eight um, blocks this column here, so there are two possible locations where eight can go. Okay, it has to be somewhere along here, and when we do that, it means that we are definitely blocking this square from being an eight. Uh, as well. Okay, so we don't know if 8 is here or here. We do know it blocks this column. We don't know whether it's here or here, but it has to be one of those. So even though we don't know what it is, we know that it blocks another 8 in that column. So 8 has to be a pair here or here. Um, now, now that we know that, okay, in this column, remember the numbers missing up here were 4, 6, and 8, right? And we have 6 and an 8 in the same column so therefore it has to be the third number here which is four hope that made sense to you there were three missing numbers four six and eight but six and eight in the same column meaning it has to be the other number which is four and uh, four is also missing down here and now that we know that we bring this four back down and so guess what there's only that space available for a four and we can take it back up again so we've got four down four up four blocking here, four blocking here, that's also a four. Four across this column, uh, this row, sorry, at the bottom here blocks these three squares, leaving only that square left. Um, so, so far so good. This is a pretty uh, easy seeming puzzle um, so far. Definitely, uh, so far, not as much of a challenge as yesterday's, which took a long time to get going, really, although it may have been my own fault. Um, we can find this number, right? Because there's only one number missing here, 
it has to be a three, a pair of threes, right? And so we can now just work it out. One, two, three, four. We don't have a five yet, so that's what we'll fill in. So in goes the five. And now we've done that, we can bring it across here and five across here and five down here. So that's a five. Uh, one number left to fill in from this column and it's a three. So we'll put that in now. Um, the other missing number here is a nine, but that's not really gonna help us much. Uh, right, what else are we doing? Uh, okay, so uh, nine across this row, nine in this column here, so that has to be a nine there. Uh, bring the nine back across this row, nine across this row, that's our nine there. Nine down now here, that's our nine, and that's our eight. Um, there's only one number missing here, one, two, we don't yet have a three. So we can fill that in. Uh, missing numbers here, six and eight. Any use? No, not really. Uh, missing numbers across here, one, five, seven. Any intersecting? Five, but nothing else. Okay, so it's not much use. What's missing up here? One, two, three, four, five, six and eight. Anything? Nothing really. If that's six and eight, this has to be five and seven. Anything there? No, not there. How about here? One, two, three, four, five, six and eight missing here. Yeah, that's useful because we've got an intersecting six. So that has to be our six there. This is our eight here. One remaining number for this segment. It's eight. Bring the eight across. Eight goes here like so. Bring the eight up. Eight goes here. Uh, that's a six, the last number in that segment. Uh, three blocks this square here, so that's our three. Missing number is a six. Six blocking here, six blocking here, so that's our six in this square. Uh, okay, one and three left to get there. Ooh. The local office is coming back from their lunch break, I guess. They're pretty noisy today. Um, okay. Um, all right, I'm just going to fill in these candidates to make it easy now. So this is a one or three pair. Uh, this is a five and a seven pair. Down here, fives across here and here. And twos across here and here. Um, Threes can go anywhere. Fours, how about fours? Ah, okay, got it. Right, so four blocking down here, four blocking down here, four across here, and four across here means that's a four. That's our two. Uh, here along this row we're missing eight and three. We see two empty squares, right? This has eight and three, so this also has to be eight or three. No other alternatives available, yet we have a blocking eight here. So that's got to be our three, and that's got to be our eight. This has to be our three here. One number remaining in this row is an eight, so we'll fill that in now. This three, of a three or one, that's our one. Missing down here now, one and seven, I believe. Is that right? One and seven, yeah. Okay, so seven blocking this square here. One and seven missing in this column. So that's our one, that's our seven. Uh, now when we take the one down here, that has to be one, that has to be five, our last remaining number. Five up here from five, seven. Two numbers are missing, two and three. Three here blocks that there, so that's our three, that's our two. Uh, definitely not a hard level puzzle, 
Um, I think it's probably an easy level puzzle. Guardian, you're, you're being cheeky today in grading that one as hard. Um, very few candidates necessary and nothing difficult at all there, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm going to grade that one as a hard, to be honest with you. I'm not even sure it rises to a medium. Never mind, that's it. Done for today. It's weekend tomorrow. Uh, if you're in a TGIF mood today, good luck to you. If you're an internet time traveller from sometime in the future, I hope you're... I hope things are going well. That's it for today. Bye bye. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I forgot. I'm always forgetting, but um, do me a favor and subscribe. Let's try to grow the channel just a bit. I've got a few other ideas in mind about what I might do uh, with regards to this channel, but only if enough people give me some feedback. Thank you very much. Bye.